Do you ever yell at a horror movie character for looking under the bed or surfing through the closet for something that scratched through the walls or something? Nope, I will be out. Oh my god! Yo, today we're talking about Bye Bye Man 2, my short film. Yo, that crap was a banger! Woo! You heard the guy. Before I start, if you have not seen it, go ahead and click the link in the description or right over there. Click it now. Go, go. I'm waiting for you. This skit, obviously, was inspired by the movie Bye Bye Man. As soon as I saw the trailer for the movie, I was like, Yo! Get off of this movie! Exactly! Why haven't I made a skit Dude, yet? That's what I'm saying. <sighs> I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. I created the short film script over a year ago. The movie came out January 11th and I knew I wanted to make the movie as soon as I saw the trailer. All right, so let's go over the analysis of my little short film. Immediately as it starts off, you can see the characters are placed in a strategic orientation. I am put on the left and Osama is put on the right. Now throughout the skit, I am constantly telling Osama something bad will happen to him. But since he's on the right side and he's completely calm in this situation, you guys subconsciously side with him and think that nothing will happen at all. Me being on the left side implies that I'm evil or going crazy or against Osama or something. The first 30 seconds, me and Osama are neutral, so the audience doesn't really pick a side yet. But by the way I react after he says bye bye man, the audience immediately starts to side with Osama because he is more sane than I am. For all the good reasons, of course, I mean, <laughs> look at him. If you paid close attention, you could actually hear me say bye bye man as well. This is foreshadowing that he's gonna come after me, pff, obviously after he kills Osama first. Come on, I ain't dying first. Oh, now, now to the jump scare. The best scene in the entire short film. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. Whether it's a mirror scene in the bathroom or just a mirror scene overall, it is always scary. You can always set the tone to be freaky as hell, no matter what. Everyone's terrified of mirrors. Everyone's terrified of something turning up and freaking behind. <clears throat> I wanted the monster to appear over Osama out of nowhere. So I did. Bro, see? Nothing. I don't even know what you're so worried about. I don't know. This gave the mystery beast a heightened power over the stupid little human. Do you ever yell at a horror movie character for looking under the bed or surfing through the closet for something that scratched through the walls or something? Nope, I will be out. Oh my god! The same intention was made here, but when I was telling Osama what he did wrong, it builds suspense. That way when he stands up and looks in the mirror, you know something is about to go down. And BAM! Yeah, but the suspense is dropped as the monster beast demon is chasing me through the room. It doesn't show where the monster is, but the audience feels that the camera's perspective is the demon because my character was throwing things back at it. Little did you know that it wasn't, and the demon was in front of me at all times. And that causes for another semi-jump scare. And that'll be it for this video. If y'all enjoyed, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, still leave a big thumbs up. You know I'm always open to constructive criticism, so if you have anything to say, just go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Just don't make it too aggressive. Or else I'll be crying in the corner like that. <laughs> Suck it up. God damn. Peace.